Hey guys, welcome back to the activities of Grade Time 1, Unit 3. Let's take a look now at this image that I brought here for you. It's a family. I want you to think of some adjectives to describe this family. How do you think they're feeling? Are they happy or are they sad? Now, look at the children. How do you think they are feeling? And if you can describe one of the children, let's say the girl, yeah? Uh, so imagine that she is the little boy's sister, yeah? So can we say that the sister is happy, yeah? Uh, do you think she's an intelligent girl? I think so, she looks to be smart, right? So, she is an intelligent little girl, right? What about her mom who is holding her? What can we say about her? Well, do you think she's caring? I think so, right? So, in this little exercise here, we talked about families using adjectives to describe some qualities we think they have. Yeah, and now we will do something similar right there on our books, okay? So now if you have your student's book with you, I want you to go to page 33. But if you don't, I will show the activity here in a second. All right, guys, now we are on page 33 of your student's book. And if you don't have it, it's this activity right here of Think Self-Esteem. Let's take a look at what it says. So, complete the me table, write the names of four people in your family who are important to you, and a word to describe them. So, you will put the name of a family name member. It can be your brother, your mom, your dad, your sister. It doesn't matter, whoever you want. And then I want you to put an adjective to describe this person. So, your brother, is he intelligent? Is he caring? Is he angry? Think of an adjective and describe this person, okay? Now, this activity has two parts. The first part is the one that I just told you. In the second part, you have to send a message to a partner. This message can be sent by email, by WhatsApp, by Facebook. It doesn't matter. Whatever is easier for you. If you don't know how to use a messenger, you can ask your parents or someone in your family to help you. Okay? So, in the message, what you have to do is ask a partner, a classmate, about the names of the people he chose in his family or her family and the adjectives that they use to describe them, okay? And then you will complete the second table with your partner's information about his or her family, all right? So, this is what you have to do for this part here of Think Self-Esteem. And I'll see you later in the next video. Bye-bye!